Hi, I'm Ben Zwickel, and this is a Mathematica screencast on selecting a subset from a list. So here's some basic terminology. In Mathematica, anytime you have a set of numbers, or a set of anything for that matter, it's called a list. In other programming languages, this is commonly called an array, and in physics, our arrays or lists usually have some meaning and we call them data sets. Uh, so a common example is to select out two columns of a larger data set and plot one on X and one for Y. Uh, and so uh, here's an easy example of doing that. So I have some data that I'd like to import from the oscilloscope, so I use the import function and I insert the file path to the data set, which I saved, and I call it data. And so here what we get uh, that was imported was a time column, a channel 1 voltage column, a channel 2 voltage column, and a blank column. Uh, however, to do a list, to do a plot of uh, one column against another, we need to use the list plot form function. And it expects data to be in a particular form, which we can see by looking at the help file for it. So you can put question mark in front of the function name, hit shift enter, and you get the brief help, and it shows that you need a bunch of XY pairs is what we're looking to do. So that means a data set that has two columns and many rows. So how do you select out two columns and all the rows from a data set? Well, it's this simple. So the name of our data set was data, and uh, the double square brackets allow you to pick out a subset of it. And so what we want to do is to pick out all of the rows and the comma, and then we pick out which columns we want. So in this case, I want to pick out the first column, which is time, and the second column, which is the channel 1 voltage. And uh, the result of doing that uh, picks out the time column and the channel 1 voltage column. And so now we have a bunch of XY pairs, uh, where, which is basically an array that has two columns and many rows. And then it's very simple to list plot that. Data, we take all the rows and the first column and the second column and hit shift enter. And what we get is, uh, doesn't look like much, but that's because there was nothing input to channel one at that time. And so we're just seeing the digital, the uh, discrete jumps in the digital analog to digital converter. If instead we looked at channel two, which is the third column of our data set, uh, we can uh, see that there was actually a triangle wave on that input. So that's all there is to selecting out um, a subset of columns from a larger array. Uh, there's a lot of options, like you might want to select out a single row, many rows, single column, many columns. Uh, and so all the different options uh, for picking out subsets of a 2D array are detailed in a quick reference chart, uh, which is also accessible on the website. And um, and of course, if you need more help, uh, I suggest you watch the screencast, which goes over the detailed syntax for selecting subsets of arrays. Thanks.